Dragon Ball Super has officially ended. Oh my gosh. Alright, the final episode of Super, and I'm just going to say this, and this is my personal opinion, but I think that this ending was way more better than GT, or dare I say Z, because everyone was hyped up for this, I was hyped up for this, but now we get the finale to everything. Goku Black is finished, Zamasu is finished, the Tournament of Power is finished, and yeah, Super's finished. But let's get on to the episode. So, yes, of course, Goku and Frieza defeated Jiren and then ended up getting knocked out, but then Android 17 came in and wished for all universes, and I was like, my boy! And it was such emotional. Universe 6 especially with like Cauliflower and Kale having a tearful reunion. And Frost is back too. That's neat. And of course we get hit. But then we zoom into Kaba, Cauliflower and Kale. And Cauliflower's like, Kaba, the series is over. Let me become Super Saiyan 3. And Kaba's like, oh, okay. We'll do that when the movie comes out. Fingers crossed. But um, then we go back to the other universes. I find Universe 2 and 9's like revival like more... You're epic because Universe 2 had like a little parade and Universe 9 had a basically like a epic background with like a fiery background, I don't know. But then we go to Universe 11 and it looks like Topo and Jiren are ready to fight Universe 7 again. We can only hope. But then we go back to the the final, the very final part of the episode Basically, Vegeta comes home, Bulma and Buller are crying and basically hug Vegeta. Goten and Trunks have done their job on the island. Master Roshi goes to Korin's apparently because, well, he's got to uh, improve some way, shape or form. And of course, Chi-Chi is predominantly, uh, or is basically ticked off essentially. But then we, at the very end, we see like everyone having a party with the inclusion of Tights and Jacko, which we haven't seen for a long while. I mean, I'm excited to see Jacko again. And Seventeen finally got his cruise. But and then Goku and Vegeta have their little showdown, just like good old times, like the very first saga of Z. The only thing is that now Freezer's alive. Freezer is alive. If there's going to be a sequel series, or if Freezer's going to be a bad guy again, then... Well, it's his call. That's his call in the end. But Dragon Ball Super has ended. The ending to Dragon Ball Super was the best thing I've ever seen in 2018. We still have the dub. We still have Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. But I'm here to say this. Dragon Ball Super was the best Dragon Ball series I've ever watched. I've watched... Dragon Ball Z, GT, and Kai, but Dragon Ball Super was the best. Akira Toriyama, you have exceeded my expectations, and thank you. I will look forward. I look forward to the show as much as I will look forward to the dub. Can't wait till the movie, but thank you, thank you for bringing Dragon Ball Super back to the world. I cannot ask for more. <sighs> Dragon Ball Super, you may just be the best anime series since Naruto. Naruto's number one, but you, my friend, you're good. And I cannot wait till the English dub so I can buy your DVDs, hopefully review them, but I'll be sure to buy them. Thank you, Dragon Ball Super. May you rest in peace. And that's all I've got to say about that.